Hi everyone, here is a quick video of how I made this photo here. What this photo is, is it looks like an HDR photo, but it's not use any HDR software. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that photo in GIMP. Now GIMP actually now has kind of like a camera raw facility where you can actually uh, open up NEF files, uh, which is a Nikon raw files and I'll just get the two shots that I want 7515 okay so here's two shots they were taken pretty much at exactly the same time but with one I exposed for the sky another one I exposed kind of not for the sky uh, so here's the first shot this is the one which was not exposed for the sky god uh, looks pretty bad let's brighten it up a good whack there okay um, and as you can see, that brings in all the detail of this uh, thing. I don't know what it is, kind of a monument statue thing. Uh, but the sky is totally blown out. And that's kind of exactly how it is in that picture generally. That's what it was there. All that sky totally blown out. Can't see anything there. But let's just increase the brightness up by about three stops there. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Let's see what options we have. We can play around with curves and all that kind of stuff, can't be bothered just now, just going to make this quick. So do OK. And then the second image here, let's just, we could leave this one exactly as it is. Bring this down to, so there's no compensation. So this is really exposing for the bit of the sunset. Um, and you get all that detail in the sky. Effectively everything else is just black. Just click OK. I'm happy with that. OK, so what we've got, we've got two shots taken pretty much exactly the same time. Uh, the only difference was on the actual camera, I was spot metering, and on the picture on the left, I spot metered for around about uh, the actual monument thing, and on the picture on the right, I spot metered for the actual sky. So to get this to look like an HDR image, what we want is that sky on this picture. And that is very easily done. Just click and select all of this picture and press Control C. That means it's all copied. And then click on this picture, press Control V for very cool. And as you see, it now what you're seeing is the image on top of the blow. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, simply right click, right click on this so it becomes a new layer, and then on it, add a layer mask. Done. The type of layer mask doesn't really matter, just click add because we're going to change it. What we can do now, we can get rid of the other picture. So we don't need that, do we want to save it? Uh, don't save it, fine, bye. So back here, uh, we've got this layer mask. Uh, the layer mask is white, so that means if we want to see what's underneath, we need to paint on with black. So what we can do is we can go with the paintbrush or a quicker thing is the blend tool. So I'm going to use that and just up with the blend tool, click on this and drag down the way. And that's it gone completely the wrong way, it's meant to go the other way. Cool, so already instantly you're seeing that there's a really deep intense sky and now you've got all the detail in the foreground. But it's a bit crap, uh, I'm not that huge a fan of it. So what I'm actually going to do is use the brush um, so I can just press Control Z to undo what I just did there and undo that one as well because I don't want that. And with the paintbrush, go into the uh, paintbrush option bit, make the size as big as possible, make the brush as fuzzy as possible. As pro oh god, that's still not very big. Oh well, we'll just start painting it in anyway. And ah, wrong one. Control Z to undo, and we can paint in all of this. My God, that's going slow. Right, stuff that. I'm going to go back with the with the gradient tool. Do that again, and actually just paint in more details closer to the actual to the horizontal line. Okay, so it kind of works there. Let's just get the paintbrush in again. Click on that brush is fine and we can, if we just paint over this, this is all fine. What I do want is some of the details in the actual uh, thing here, we can just paint that in. And if we want to make the brush smaller, on the keyboard, the little square bracket 
things make it bigger or smaller. It's a bit slow though, I'd want that to be a bit bigger, a bit faster. Uh, so bring that down, just brighten up that pillar there, that one there, that one there, that one there, that works. Uh, you can go into a bit more detail if you really want. Uh, right now, I, I'm not really that fast. Okay, so that just looks rubbish, uh, but you're getting an idea. Um, what we can do to kind of calm that down is bring the opacity down just a touch. If you want, we if you want to undo what we've done, we just change the colour. So we're painting on with white now. Uh, we're just painting that on there. Cover up that. Let's cover up that. Done. Okay, so that's kind of that's the shot. Uh, pretty much done there. It's just, that's looking pretty good. Uh, what I might do is a little bit of curves, so just make sure that that is apply the layer mask, so that's it done. And on the top one, go to tools, no sorry, go to colours, go to curves. Let's just enhance the brightness a little bit, just so it's a little bit less obvious, but you've still got all that detail in the sky, that's what you were looking for. Uh, I'm happy with that, with the picture down below, might do the same again, go to colours curves, bring a little bit up in the middle. Okay, so that is the shot there. Uh, effectively, it's an HDR image, but it's just done with two photos and without any uh, HDR software. Uh, free GIMP software, which you can get on the internet totally for free. And uh, that's it, just a layer mask, uh, a gradient blend, and a little bit of brushing uh, is all you need to do. And uh, a little bit of curve adjustments as well. Uh, and that's it. I hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye.